Hey guys, Steve here. Today is hump day, September 29, 2021, as we're getting close to October already. Hope you guys are having a good week. I uh, have some new stuff to share with you, so we'll go ahead and get started. So first of all, uh, I wanted to share with you the most recent, well, not the most most recent, but the previous re recent, if you will, uh, Redline Club offering. This is the Jeep 1944 Willys MB. Um, it comes in a bigger cube, and I'll show you in a second. But this is a really nice piece. Um, I don't, I don't think it sold out as quickly as other RLC pieces, but uh, um, nevertheless, I think it did sell out. Um, the most recent uh, piece yesterday was the Camaro, um, which I have ordered as well. So I'll share that with you uh, um, on the next video. But until like, we get that, we'll go ahead and get started. This is a, a cube, um, just like a lot of the RLC pieces. You'll notice. You may notice from this picture here that the cube here is, um, looking at the side, it's probably about twice as big as your regular cube. Uh, the reason because of the display it came in. So real quick, uh, this is the box it comes in. Um, nothing really fancy about it, but your typical Matchbox, or excuse me, Hot Wheels Redline Club box. And then within the box is a box. So here's the actual, the box, um, packaging box that it comes with. Uh, 1944 Willys MB, um, and uh, again, nothing really too exciting. Uh, it's got some information on the back about the car, about the Jeep, um, and then as we take it out, the display case out, it's, it's, uh, you'll notice that it's a pretty cool uh, display. It's got a, a background, um, so we'll go ahead and take that out real quick. I'll show you the background real quick. So it's kind of a, what, like um, Utah, I guess. Kind of a background, but a nice background for that particular piece. Um, and then, of course, the actual piece itself comes in this nice cubed display case, as usual. Um, so 1944 Willys MB, and in the left-hand corner, it's got the collector's special edition. Um, so, and the reason why it is bigger is because of the... Just pop this off real quickly. Is the cool display case it comes with. Uh, and the base, but uh, before I look at the base, um, if you look at the bottom here, this is limited to 20,000 pieces. Uh, mine is 8,133. I got two of these, but I already sold it to a buddy of mine. Uh, I think that number was like 19,000 something, so nothing really fancy or special about it. But here you go. This is the actual um, base itself. It's, as you can see, it's an all-terrain base. Kind of cool. Um, some people don't like it. Some people... You know, it's kind of maybe bland, but it's something, it's definitely a piece, I think, um, for hobbyists at least, that I might even you know, throw some um, model, make this a little more re unique, add some grass, um, some fake grass and such to make it a little bit more detailed. But uh, the piece itself is really cool, um, and it looks like it's got some suspension there. Let's see, get some close, but the detail on this is really nice. Um, I'm glad I, I got it. A lot of people people were on the fence about it. Let's see, does it have? Let's see if it has any opening hood. No opening pieces, but um, yeah, the detail on this is fantastic. I think, um, and I like the color. But uh, see, so you got the springs on the back, so they did a really nice job on this one. Um, it says I'm gonna crawl on the back. There's the front. Yeah, they. I think they did a fantastic job on this one. So I'm happy I got this one. This one I will definitely keep in my in my collection. Uh, I just need to figure out if um, if I want to change, you know, some of the um, what you call it, change some of the uh, the display of the base on the on it. So we'll deal with that later. Okay. Set this aside for now. All right, next I want to share with you um, an older RLC piece. Um, well, I would say older, earlier this year. So one of the RLC pieces that were offered was this Purple Thunder Roller. Um, I shared shared this one with you guys uh, when I got my – I actually got two. I shared my the first one probably uh, about a month or two ago. I finally got my second one in, so this is the one we're actually going to um, excuse me, uh, open today and share with you because I will open this will go in my Thunder Roller display case that I have it 
So before I show you the truck here, just a reminder that this one was limited to 20,000 pieces as well. And this was numbered 19,244. So Thunder Roller is always a nice casting. Um, one of my favorites from a, from a semi-truck perspective. But uh, yeah, they did a really nice job on this one. Great color and detail. Um, and actually rolls pretty well. If you notice that some of the older Thunder Rollers, some certain certain series, and that was, wasn't always all, all of them. Uh, some of them actually, I think it was the front tire, would actually rub against either the, the, the bumper here or against the ladder part. Um, I think maybe because the wheels were too big. Um, but there's a couple of those Thunder Roller castings, the releases that did that. But this one actually rolls really smoothly. And they, yeah, they did a nice job. It's got the treaded tires on there, real riders and, and such. So Nice detail on the front. Got the chrome and then, of course, the back. And then the top. Great color. Fantastic job on that one, too. It's nice to see that um, the Redline Club um, offerings have have gotten better now um not only the um the pieces themselves but the um the shipping um no you know knock on wood we haven't seen a whole lot of back orders um like we used to a couple years ago and and um it's, it looks it, it appears that the ordering process is is finally getting better now um now that may a lot of that may be attributed to you know the Camaro, for example, that went on sale yesterday. That was lim that was up to um, I think that was limited to thirty thousand pieces. So it didn't sell as sell out as quickly as um, you know previous pieces. So that that all obviously helps as well. So and I think um, I mean to be honest, I think a lot of um, um, scalpers, uh, <laughs> if you will, um, you know, aren't buying as much as they used to because they can't unload them as as for as much money as they thought they could or they used to be able to with older um, Redline Club pieces. Um, okay, continuing. Um, before we get to some Hot Wheels here, again, I'm going to go switch to Matchbox real quick. I found this uh, particular set in... Where did I find this? I found this at Walmart last weekend, last Friday. Um, so this is a new... Well, new to me. A Matchbox, Matchbox Collectors. Um... And I picked up three pieces, uh, two of which are going to be mine. But um, here's one piece. Um, here's the other pieces in this release. We have a Honda S2000, FJ Cruiser pickup. Um, I didn't find that one, but I'm looking for that one, the Divco Mill Truck, which is the Golf um, Deco, and, of course, this Mercedes. So first one we'll share with you is the S2000, Honda S2K. It's a, with a 2004. I do have a S2K display case, so that's what this will go in. I'm not a huge fan on these wheels, but uh, the rest of the casting is nice. Um, great detail on the engine there with the opening hood. That is pretty nice. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan on these wheels, but it's got the rubber rubber tires. Um, the rest of the car is look, looks very, very nice. Very, very uh, simple, um, you know, from a OEM perspective. Nothing really fancy about it. That's uh, basically what you would get from the showroom. But yeah, those wheels are, could be a little bit better. Um, the other piece that I grabbed was the, the Mercedes. Uh, 1962 Mercedes 220 SE. These wheels are a little bit nicer. Not my favorite Matchbox wheels, but they're better than the other ones we just saw. Um, so here's this piece. It looks like do opening doors. Just like the the older Matchbox, vintage Matchbox. Nice, again, pretty simple, straightforward, nothing really fancy. Nice blue metallic paint on there. You can see it's Sparkle there, and of course the the chrome grill. And see if I can see what it says on the back. Uh, MB Collector is the license plate on that one. All right. 
Next piece is, um, I actually picked this up for a friend of mine. I'm not going to open this one, but this is the uh, Toyota FJ Cruiser. Um, I always liked this this truck. Um, it's pretty sad that they discontinue making it now, but because um, this is one I always thought about possibly getting, you know, a real one for myself. But um, And once I had made that decision, then they, that's when I had learned that, you know, they were going to stop production on them. But uh, pretty cool piece. Nice blue. Again, nothing too fancy about it. Um, but they did a nice job. Good wheels on that one, too. All right, so there's some new Matchbox. All right, switching to Hot Wheels. So some Hot Wheels I have here. Um, so I finally, finally found some of the new Fast and Furious premium pieces. So first of all, we had the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Um, very similar to what we've seen in the past. The only big difference that I can note that I noticed right out the top is they are different rims. <clears throat> this is number one. So, and it looks like, uh, compared to the others, just out of memory, it looks does look like it's a little bit darker blue than the previous releases. They've released this thing now um, two, at least two, maybe three times. Um, but this is definitely different wheels. I like those wheels. I've said that I said that multiple times before, but they are they're they're nice rims. So there's that one. And then the other one um, I found was the Toyota Toyota GR Supra. Um, before I open this one, the other two I think I shared last time with you guys was the definitely the seventy Dodge Charger. I believe I shared that one with you. Um, actually, um, gave that to a buddy of mine, and is either I think it was the Nova or the Chevelle. I can't remember which one of these. I, I want to say it was the Nova that I shared. But uh, this is the other other one from this release that I was interested in. So, kind of a matte orange. Again, same style wheels or rims. So, eh, pretty nice job. Not bad. It's nice to see some new castings of this. All right. <clears throat> Okay, next up real quick is I've also found, at the same time, I also found, they found these at Target. I found the new release, a new um, Car Culture Slide Street uh, release, five car set. So number one is the Nissan Silvia. I haven't decided if I'm going to open that one yet or not. It's got the formulas, Formula Drift on there. Yeah, I'll open it. Might as well. So, get the red and white going on here. As you can see, um, it's got the, the carbon fiber hood there. Hot Wheels FD, Formula Drift. There's the back. I like those rims too. These are nice wheels. See if you can see on there. Okay. Uh, number two car is the another 20 Toyota Su GR Supra. So just like the orange one, same casting. Got the this one here. Also nice. Uh, same wheels. Five spoke wheels. The Pandem logo on there, the sponsor there, Grady sponsor, and they did a nice job on this one as well. It's a cool series. One of the nicer um, releases from all, from all, and from all for all cars in the release. You know, a lot, a lot of these releases that I get, um, I only like maybe two or three out of them, but um, this is a nice set. Um, number three car is the Toyota eighty AE eighty six Sprinter. Um, this is probably my least favorite. I'm not a big fan of this. I thought I was, but, um, 
I'm not going to open this one. I'm actually going to sell this one to a buddy of mine. So, but a TRD Toyota AE86. We've seen, you know, a lot of this casting before. Got tiny wheels on this. Um, so, there you go. That's the number three car. Let me show you. Here's the card. Cards are kind of cool, too. Um, the next one is really nice. Um, the Pandem Subaru BRZ. No. Falcon Tire Racing Deco. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Not just because it's Subaru, but I think they really did a really nice job on this one. But, I, uh... Would have been a nice if they did the wing, the spoiler in metal, like as part of the mold of the of the body, but it's, it looks like it's plastic. Um, but yeah, they did a nice job on that one. Very cool piece. All right, and then the last one in this release is number five, the 20 uh, Ford Mustang GT or RTR Spec 5. Um, this is going to my Mustang buddy, uh, so I'm not going to open this one up, but this is they did a nice job on this one as well. Oops. Probably help if I show you. There you go. Um, fun haver on the hood there, number uh, 25 on the roof. Um, yeah, they did a nice job on this one. All black. I like the fluorescent, uh, I guess that's green. Fluorescent green, fluorescent yellow rims there. But uh, there you go. So that's number five. So that is the new uh, Car Culture Slide Street series. Um, all right. The last thing I want to share with you, um, you know, I haven't, I used to collect uh, Disney, Mattel, Disney Pixar cars. Um, as well, I've backed off on a lot of that. I sold a lot of my collection, but I do carry, I do I can't potentially pick up a piece here and there that I do like. And I picked up the new, um, I think this might be a Target exclusive, but this is the uh, new Pixar Fest 2021 um, Mattel car. Uh, this is Sally, and I mostly picked her up because um, because it's a Porsche. So um, this will be added to the cl Porsche collection. But uh, yeah, I picked this one up too. And just so you know, for those cars collectors out there, there's... Um, there's actually four of these kind of metallic cars. Um, Pixar Fest cars. We got, of course, Luigi and Guido, Ramon, of course, Lightning McQueen, and then the Sally. So. Um, but I, I have not bought, um, well, nobody's really stocked any new stuff anyway, but I haven't really bought, um, they don't really buy um, this line anymore just because I've been... Um, um, cutting back on what I'm buying and and in you know discontinuing collecting some of the series like the Mattel cars, but there you go, there's Sally. All right. all right, I think that's all I have to share with you today. Until then, happy hunting. Have a good weekend come up, and then we'll talk to you guys later.